welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. We're going to be doing a reading. We're going to take a look at um, what can you expect in terms of love? What are the current energies for you in love? And then we're going to look at your person's energy or the, pers or the energies of the person you might be dealing with. As always, these readings are meant to be general. So take what resonates for you, Cancer, what applies to you, and leave the rest. Now let's jump right in for Cancer. Angels guides for the sign of Cancer. What can they expect in love? One message for guides you have for Cancer. Regarding love, what can Cancer expect? All right, Cancer, let's see what we have for you. Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Wow, it all looks great. And then bottom of the deck, overall energy, the Tower. Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> but honestly, what I'm seeing here is like, maybe there is a Tower moment that's happening that just brought about all of this great energy. So we'll see um, when we clarify, but let's get some energies out here. Can we get some insight into what's going on for cancer when it comes to love now the tower is all about the unexpected unexpected developments unexpected events things that kind of rock your world can we get some insight for cancer for the sign of cancer for the sign of cancer what's going on for them in love Oh my gosh, we have unexpected event in my Stellar Energy Oracle. Unexpected shocking events have shaken things up. Wow, Cancer. Something big is happening or has happened possibly in your connection or when it comes to love for you. We have far apart as well. Um, distance is affecting your connection. So this could be emotional distance, um, separation of some sort bottom of the deck there is victory lap so once again even though we have the tower i feel like success is still a possibility there's still a chance for things to i guess turn around or end in a positive way so let's get a little bit more insight because i am so curious about this tower now if you're interested in any of my decks like this is my stellar energy oracle deck and i'm going to be using my secret moon deck later on um, all of that information is uh, in my website, which is linked in the description box. So you can check those out if you're curious. Spirit, tell me more. Cancer. Oh, cancer. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Page of Swords again. So this could be an unexpected message, some sort of information that kind of rocks your world. What else can you tell me about the tower? Uh, an, a conversation that can change everything for you. Tell me about the tower. Wow, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Hmm. And then the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Four of Swords. So it's almost like things that were happening behind the scenes here. Now the Hierophant could be... Um, signifying like a commitment of some sort, but... Or you could be dealing with a Taurus, but what I'm getting with the Hierophant and then this Four of Swords, Seven of Swords, I'm getting like you didn't expect this from a particular person. Like usually their Hierophant energy, which the Hierophant likes to follow the rules. The Hierophant is someone that cares about what others think. Um, they conform to whatever's expected. Um very official you know they they don't like to rock the boat or do anything scandalous um so let's get one more because the seven of swords is telling me it's almost like someone was doing something behind your back or was kind of doing things in the dark and this could be a positive thing or a negative thing i'm not saying that there's any um specific thing that someone's doing that's wrong i just think that it's something that was done away from you know eyes or always it's almost like 
this was happening outside of a connection or behind the scenes, like I said. I don't know how else to put it into words. So let's get one more for the tower. What's going on with the tower? This could also be affecting a commitment with the Hierophant. Eight of Pentacles. Mm, maybe somebody was bringing about this tower on purpose. Maybe someone's been working on something, putting an effort, time, energy into something. There's a Ten of Pentacles. And then the High Priestess, exactly. It's like someone was doing this in secret. Or there's a secret element here. I think that the High Priestess, the Seven of Swords, the Four of Swords, all those energies are kind of telling me that this is going to be like shocking because you don't expect something that you don't see. I don't know if that, that makes any sense. <laughs> How do I put this into like a sentence that makes sense? So like, it's like if someone were to blindfold you and while you were blindfolded, they lit a birthday cake and put it right in front of you. And then when obviously you were, you, they take off the blindfold, you look down, surprise, it's a party right that kind of energy and this far apart card is telling me almost like there's a distance here so maybe this is happening far away from you or this is happening you know it's like in, in the distance so you can't see it you know i i'm trying to make sense of these first energies here okay and the reason also that i'm not getting like watch out cancer is because of these energies down here Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles again here, and the Nine of Cups. So it's almost like there is something good that comes with this Page of Swords. So let's get down to figure this out down here. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here for Cancer? The world. Oh yeah, this is going to be something big. The start of something new oh my gosh there's the ace of pentacles well i was shuffling two of pentacles knight of swords yeah it's like an um maybe an unexpected message an unexpected opportunity that opens a door here with the world um maybe you have to like figure out if you want to take this opportunity or not with the two of pentacles weigh your options oh my gosh and at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of cups this is crazy I feel like you're getting an unexpected message that starts something new. It's not just that the message is sent, but it's like, it's a message with the possibility of something starting that's new. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. This is long-term success, long-term stability, security, Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, Strength, Leo Energy, and Judgment. Interesting. Why the Five of Pentacles? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles. So someone has been on the outside Someone might have been through a lot personally. I think this Ten of Pentacles symbolizes a long-term commitment or the possibility of this new start. So this new start, this Ace of Pentacles could lead to a Ten of Pentacles. Why the judgment? And it's like after difficulty with the Five of Pentacles and Nine of Wands. Tell me about judgment. Four of Pentacles. Tell me about judgment. My deck really wants to talk today. Tell me about judgment. Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, some of you are dealing with an Earth sign, someone with Earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Others of you, there's something here with marriage. Queen of Pentacles, the Hangman, okay. Eight of Swords, and then the Lovers. It's like someone's really thinking about something, pondering something. I 
Judgment is a card about looking back at the past, evaluating the decisions that have led you to the present moment. You can become awakened by that knowledge. It could also be symbolic of a resurrection or revival of some sort, you know, waking up. Sometimes this card could be a card about second chances. Um, strength is here and strength is kind of about bringing something back into like control. Tell me about strength. Getting something, um, you know, using a different approach to get to a, uh, a certain result. Tell me about strength. It could also symbolize courage. Why is strength here? Hmm. Five of Cups. There's something to do with the past here. Yeah, there's the Devil. Capricorn Energy. I think this could be somebody wanting a second chance of some sort or a do-over. They want to have a chance to do something over. And this does not have to be an ex. This could be the way that you're approaching love as well. Maybe the way that you've approached love in the past has not worked. And then now that you have a new opportunity, you don't want to repeat the same mistakes. You don't want to do the same thing over and over. You don't want to end up where you were. Others of you, this is definitely somebody that I feel they're bringing you this Ace of Pentacles and it's unexpected from them. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. This is all about emotional satisfaction. A wish granted. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The tower, yeah, the tower is bringing you something, literally giving you this nine of cups. The eight of wands was at the bottom of the deck there. Tell me about the nine of cups. Eight of wands is, can be seen as communication as well. Ah, okay. Queen of swords, page of wands, the lovers again, Gemini energy and the 10 of wands. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles. So once again, with the Page of Wands and the Queen of Swords, this could be some sort of communication that rocks your world. Make no mistake, the Tower has come out three times in this reading. It is significant. The Lovers is here. I feel like this is a partner of some sort. I think that someone wants to talk about something that they've held back. Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, Four of Pentacles. This is kind of holding on to something, the Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is here as well. So I feel like someone's like far from you or feels, you know, like they're distant from you. So let's find out a little bit more about this other person. Tell me about this other person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. Others of you, this could be a new person coming in because I have the world, the Ace of Pentacles. And maybe when they do come in, you realize something new about yourself, Cancer. Maybe you weren't expecting them to be into you or something like that. Or for them to maybe admit or confess that they've loved you for a long time or been into you for a long time. I do see that here as well. I don't necessarily see that it has to be a past person here. Tell me more about this person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? Wow, the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> this could be a soulmate, period. What else do we need to know for Cancer? What do we need to know about this other person that they are dealing with or will be dealing with? Four of Pentacles again. You know, and I with the Four of Pentacles and that treasure chest is a closed chest. So again, I get that energy of someone that has been keeping this to themselves. And I, I, again, I feel like this is like an, there's an element of surprise here, of unexpected energy. Because they've held back this person. Tell me more about this person's energy towards cancer. I don't know what to do. 
Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person that Cancer is has. Okay, that one just fell out. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Interesting. I, I see forever with you at the bottom of the deck. I don't know what to do. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, I feel like this person's working. I mean, I feel like they might be the Eight of Pentacles that's working on something. Working on bringing you this Ace of Pentacles or talking to you about this. Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. This Ten of Wands could be that, you know, hey, I've held back for so long. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed with how I feel. And this, I don't know what to do, also makes sense with this tower. Because it's almost like someone just decides to just go for it. And it's like out of nowhere. Out. Didn't you have a reading where something happened out of the blue? Hmm. Yeah, it was in March. You and them in March. There, they were. There's something that you weren't expecting. And then in March... The reading before that, secret feelings were revealed. So I think that this is just a continuation of those readings. If you're new here, check out your playlist um, for your sign. It's linked in the description box. Um, let me get a little bit more energy with, uh, with this Four of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. What's this Four of Pentacles about for Cancer? Seven of Cups. Yeah, I think that this person, I think that's why they're, it, this feels like it's happening behind the scenes. It's because they're trying to figure things out. And they don't want to do that right in front of you, right? They want to come to you with all of this already kind of decided. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, definitely an action taker. And then the Ace of Swords. Yeah, um, the devil at the bottom of the deck, I think that the devil is uh, symbolizing here someone that's a bit stuck and trapped in their own feelings and the fact that they don't you know it's like almost like this energy of i don't know what to do because i'm so scared to maybe make the wrong move or i don't know what to say ace of swords is here you could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius um but make no mistake whoever this is they're your soulmate two of cups six of cups some of you, this is someone completely new. And it's like you don't really think of them as your soulmate. You're like, what? You? You know? I feel like it surprises you as well. Not just what they're saying, but the fact that it's them surprises you. Now, they're talking about the future or thinking of the future here with I see you in my dreams. Um, or I'm sorry, I see forever with you. I see you in my dreams is right here. Oh, I just, it's on this side. Um, I see forever with you is like uh, someone that's thinking about the future here. So I find this very fascinating because I think that you don't expect any of this and it's going to be shocking and maybe rock you for a bit. Um, I don't think you're going to know exactly how to take it, but I think it's meant to be to lead you somewhere completely new and that's why it needed to happen. I think it's gonna give you a lot of satisfaction in the end and if you do ex decide to accept this person, whether there's someone from the past or someone new, um, I feel like the 10 of Pentacles is possible. That long-term security, that long-term commitment is possible. Um, some of you, this is someone that's been thinking about proposing but just hasn't um, because they don't know how to propose. They're working on this proposal. That's just for some of you that are watching this. It's not for everyone. But it, I'm, I'm picturing someone that's literally writing down ideas for how to propose or Googling how to propose. So I think that this is somebody that you already know and have a connection with already. Um, and you already know that you want to be with them, but you're not expecting them to propose. Maybe it's really soon. I don't know. But yeah, that's for some of you out there. If that resonates for you or any of this reading resonates for you, Cancer, uh, feel free to let me know down in the comments and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to support what I do here. It's free. Um, so I'm going to leave that here, Cancer, for your reading on YouTube. I'm going to take this to the extended now because I want to look at future energies and also dig a little bit deeper into your person, their intentions towards you, 
What do we need to know about them? And I want to look at their next possible actions, which I think is already this Ace of Swords. They want to tell you something. That's, to me, that's very clear. We have the Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Swords. These are all communicators. So I think that there's something that you're going to be finding out very soon.